Hello Seekers, welcome to Panis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Ketu is going to Virgo zodiac sign on 30th of October. It is going to be a very big transit because when Rahu starts its journey, which is the head basically, that is why we will consider Rahu as the entry point. If you have to see an arrow, the pointed region is Rahu, whereas the the, the brush region is Ketu, which is the tail basically, something that that happens, which is also called as an aftermath. There are various implications of Ketu, we will discuss all that, but because Rahu is moving in Pisces zodiac sign, it is a new beginning and therefore Ketu on the opposite end starts its, its journey from Virgo. We can definitely consider Ketu entry into Pisces zodiac sign as a beginning of a cycle of Ketu. But if we don't differentiate between Rahu and Ketu, primarily because it is the body and head of the same uh, Swarbhanu, which is, was the demon that, uh, that, that deceived, we all know that the famous story of Samudra Manthan where the Swarbhanu took the disguise of, of Devata and uh, tried to drink Amrit. So we will consider Ketu's beginning in Chitra Nakshatra. And uh, Ketu beginning in the Chitra Nakshatra and Ketu coming into the Virgo zodiac sign is itself, you can say, a mark of creation. Imagine that you like iPhone 15 Pro. It is a new release. You are too interested in that materialistic desire. You think buying that phone will give you that confidence. Maybe you will feel better. Maybe you will, you have a business which will have a new beginning, maybe it will open up a new dimension. So you have this technological gadget and you want to buy that gadget. Good. You bought that gadget, that is an influence of Rahu. But if your Ketu is very strong compared to Rahu in your birth chart, do you know what will happen? After three, four days of using the gadget, you will feel detachment. That it's fine. Initially, you were excited. Now, there is no excitement left. Suddenly, the moment you have acquired that object, the excitement, the interest, the passion towards the subject vanishes. That is also a kind of a detachment. And then, because now you are detached with that, maybe you will care less about that object. And because of that, because now you have a resource or an asset which you don't care about, now, not caring is also a kind of a negative detachment that will destroy your Venus and the second house. Also, this can trigger that, no, maybe iPhone 15 Pro was not useful for me. Maybe I need an iPad. Maybe I need a different kind of gadget, some accessory. So, do you see the detachment sometimes becomes negative and fuels the need of something else. This is the push and pull of Rahu and Ketu. So on one hand, Ketu is more about detachment, but on the other hand, Ketu can fuel Rahu's desire. Because if you have an absence, there is a greater chance that you will fall into the trap of Rahu, that Rahu can deceive you and make you believe that you need that something. And it can be an object, it can be a relationship. That is where Ketu creates painful gap and a hole in the system. And you become desperate to fill that. You can say it's an energy. And this energy can be positive, this energy can be negative. If it is positive energy, what, what, what will be the detachment? I don't need an iPhone 15 Pro. But if I have a business requirement, if I have enough amount of money that it doesn't make difference in my pocket, if I don't have to show to anyone, I will buy it because I will feel happy, contented. It, it's not wrong buying an iPhone, correct? When you buy something, there's nothing wrong in that. Question is, what is making you buy that? If it is greed, if it is your fear of missing out FOMO, if it is just an influence, if you have wrong assumptions what or wrong expectations from that object or from the system, 
then you are going to be then you are being played by rahu's energies negative ones and ketu will be a participant of that energy it is not possible see poles don't work independently there is nothing called unipolar thing there is always bipole north pole and the south pole whether it is an electronics electron electronic system whether it is a spin of an electron or whether it is magnetism you will always find two poles opposite poles male and female masculine and feminine north pole south pole up spin down spin you will always see a counter energy matter anti matter that is rahu and ketu it's a it's a mathematical explanation of all these opposite forces and they play with each other so ketu will help rahu the question is what kind of ketu do you have in your birth chart if you have a negative ketu or you are running 6 8 12th lords mahadasha where the lord do not occupy a positive house then definitely this ketu might give you the negative results of it in spite of the transits in spite of all other things i'm not going into the ascendant wise in this video i will make a separate video for that but first try to understand what exactly is ketu in virgo now bring this detachment bring this this energy of separation sometimes good if you take nirvana if you go to the path of god if you are happy with what you have and you're not too attached to the material system good if you are too detached then rahu will create another illusion for you where you can be attached bring this energy to virgo zodiac sign now virgo is the natural 6th house place of dispute but also a place of healing prarabdha karma that is why it is represented by a girl bringing wheat so it's also food nourishment it also represents food's assimilation in the body it is also one of the upachay house in the kal purush naturally 6th house so you have to understand that virgo is something that can save your life but it is a very practical very cutthroat you know very very sharp and intelligent zodiac and that is why mercury loves to be in this zodiac mercury is not only swagrahi that means in its own zodiac sign but it is also exalted in this zodiac sign mercury has complete affinity towards virgo now when ketu enters virgo ketu will have three part you can say energy experience here one ketu will bring its own separative energy own energy of moksha on the other hand ketu will play like mercury because ketu acquires the shape of the planet where it is going in whatever zodiac it is going it acquires the shape of that that planet the lord of that zodiac so here mercury rules virgo ketu will try to behave like mercury now imagine mercury is intelligence mercury is intellect mercury is communication ketu goes there it creates a sense of separation so what kind of separation are we talking about we are talking about separation because of your own ideologies and mindset separation at intellectual level so you will see competition throughout the world will suddenly increase because only the competition and too much of self realization selfishness creates that gap remember rahu is in pisces and until rahu completely surrenders at the feet of mahavishnu rahu will not signal the ketu to go into the moksha state that means forget all the logic and completely be devotional this is also one of the aspect of ketu in virgo that it will make you devotional when you will not find your answers in logical place you will take some some refuge into the spiritual domain so a lot of people may focus on to the tantras a lot of people will contact astrologers a lot of people will become astrologers a lot of people will generate interest in practicing mantra sadhana you can say all that ketu will do is create a two part world or multi part world where each section will have its own expertise some will have an expertise into 
separation some will have an expertise into you can say divorce lawyers will become very successful during this time merger and demerger acquisition and reacquisition and then then breaking down of the companies you will see happening all throughout the world one of the result of ketu mercury is also banking so banking industry will and finance industry will be hit because of this ketu and when ketu goes in virgo some initially it will throw the logic because things will happen to you which will not can which cannot be explained by logic you will it will just your, your brain will just fail to understand that what is happening and why it is happening so here is the need of a guru or a guide who has a little bit higher intellectual level on spiritual plane because someone who has left this world someone who is like mahavatar baba ji neem karoli baba then there are a lot of gurus siddhas we only name we only know few uh, but there are many they have greater existence if you cannot access them or if you can if you don't have a guru who can access them then at least try to talk to someone who is a uh, uh, more close to you maybe your grandfather maybe your parents maybe your uh, senior fellow senior friends and and don't think that they will completely understand you because only ketu who ketu will not influence the mahavatar baba ji someone who is like devariya baba someone who is like neem karoli who are now into the astral body who are there to help us but not in the physical plane also some physical gurus or maha gurus or siddhas who have who are in the physical body but they they are on their path to divinity ketu will not influence them but to all of us ketu will so what it what i'm trying to say say you contact a person don't expect he will completely solve your problem he is also experiencing ketu but because we are all in the, we are all in the same train experiences in the same train can be different just like train have a different class economy business maybe like like flight experience is different but we, if you want to understand something better maybe you will have to talk someone who is experiencing it differently just to get another perspective just to get another point of view and if you really want to get the real point of view of ketu which is obviously going to distract you give you data that you have no idea about you will have to read books you will have to rely on facts that are already present you will also see scientific theories being uh changed and disproven and lot of new scientific discoveries coming which will change the equation or challenge previous existences this is ever changing thing but ketu in virgo can bring it also it can bring some horrific uh you know battles happening around the world because sometimes logic will not function and anyone who has lot of restraint will come out of the ketu because if ketu's nature is about moksha restraint it is about limiting detaching then use this power of ketu cleverly to understand what rahu is doing and then don't completely focus into detachment otherwise it will destroy relationships it will create uh, it it will destroy the very house where it is set because for different people ketu will be in different houses and if there is someone who has a very negative ketu in their birth chart and people with moon ketu or sun ketu conjunction should chant ketu mantras should do ketu shanti should chant uh, should should pray to bhagwan mahavishnu hanuman that means do some devotion bring some devotional aspect in life and and we also have to understand one more thing lot of people will think ketu in virgo is just like you know general it happens once in 18 years what happened 18 years back may not happen now but you have to understand one very very important aspect of this ketu transit which i am not sure how many people will focus is the presence of jupiter and saturn with respect to ketu see for any planet just like we have prarabdha the grahas also have prarabdha that means they are created to do a certain specific task that is why each have it's like what is the prarabdha of carbon catenation form cyclical chains 
create hydrocarbons that is a prarabdha of carbon carbon cannot become gold carbon is carbon similarly nitrogen will remain nitrogen oxygen will remain oxygen they are certain uh, molecules which are created by the parabrahma in a certain manner and they will keep on performing same properties again and again because they are created that way similarly grahas are also created in a certain way it's like more like chemical variables they will react in by their own nature which is called naisargik bhav naisargik gun default attributes so similarly ketu will have its own default attributes and the default attributes are defined by sixth house from that planet that is planets prarabdha during transit what is happening with the 6th house and 6th lord when ketu goes in virgo so when ketu goes in virgo ketu will encounter a retrograde and stationary saturn 6th house from ketu because when ketu goes in kanya rashi shani is in kumbh rashi aquarius and where is aquarius it is 6th from ketu and retrograde station and then on 4th of november saturn will become direct that means ketu is here to uphold law ketu will take some drastic measures throughout the social fabric to create or deliver the saturn's rule that means we might see some harsh outcomes in the late 2023 and until the mid of 2024 ketu will create that damaging relationship it will cause chaos in many places in our own life so if you become spiritual and if you absorb the ketu's energy and bow down in front of saturn accept your mistake and accept saturn's will to change you ketu will simply scrape off the bad karma make you a different person it will involve some grilling and some changing just absorb it otherwise ketu's prarabdha is now controlled by shani which is aspecting ketu's mrityu bhav 8th from ketu which is aries zodiac sign what is present in aries jupiter what is happening around jupiter it's retrograde what where is jupiter in bharani nakshatra or vakri guru in bharani which rules fourth and seventh bhav of ketu because fourth will be sagittarius seventh will be pisces and jupiter being the dispositor of rahu and saturn aspecting it this is going to break myths you know in hindi we say dood ka dood aur pani ka pani kar dega it will tell you what is black and what is white You, you whether you like it or whether you don't like it it is what is going to happen that is why i say when ketu goes in virgo it is going to create war of ideologies and if you really want in your personal life this ketu not to create chaos maybe personal maybe professional then you have to be fixed at one thing and that saturn thing discipline that you will get up you will remember the divine you will do some puja you will fix your waking up and sleeping time every time sh you should try i'm sure you will not be able to fix it there will come obstacles that's okay your attempt is what matters the most here because ketu will not work alone remember ketu is body it responds in a certain way after rahu creates a situation and rahu the dispositor of rahu which is jupiter is having a third aspect of shani and jupiter is in bharani which means recreation so definitely saturn is going to kill something through ketu to recreate a new identity it is very good for people who want to restart their life who want to be in a, to a different zone who want to completely transcend so entire world will transcend and it will be like some will transcend and some will perish because where do you transform yourself what are you transforming yourself into if your new this version of you is is collapsing 
what is being created who are you turning into if you don't give yourself value and if you don't focus what are you becoming then saturn is not going to spare you and i'm talking on a very small, small level like it can be a disease hitting you it can be your um, it can be a mental breakdown it can be your mind thinking you, you believed something and now you realize that your belief throughout these years may be wrong see one thing you have to understand that you should be ready to change yourself accept the possibilities anything can be possible in this material world if quantum theory can exist anything can happen anything that seems funny gods coming down from the clouds alien popping out from the earth i'm talking about possibilities can happen so you should not become rigid because if you are rigid saturn will break break you it will kill your expectations it's in aquarius in satbesha it will go make you go round and round and round and then finally it will throw you on the tangent and ketu will do that for you so wherever ketu falls in virgo then problems will start coming from that house you will expect problems to come from aquarius but problem will come from virgo and virgo is all about logic strategy planning finance putting your brain writing theory research uh, it's it's also about construction architecture basically a plus b plus c alpha beta gamma putting everything into mathematical perspective your math will not be mathing anymore 2 plus 2 will come out as 5 and the the kind of enormous enormity rahu in pisces will give ketu is going to taper things down so this will become a funnel where from right from the the expanse of mahavishnu you have to deal with shunya also that is why if you start your journey of this ketu in virgo by praying to bhagwan shiva by simply chanting om namah shivaya om namah shivaya and on the parallel side you pray to the expanse of mahavishnu by saying om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya you know nar narayan shiva all encompasses into this as a form of energy and if you bow down and if you be respectful if you just leave then the rahu's energy will bow down in front of the feet of shiva and ketu will disintegrate you make you a different uh, version of you beautiful transit you become god you try to become god you try to uh, you know show that you are powerful then you will be shown who is powerful be it your married life then this may cause a divorce or can create or ketu has the power to reassimilate and rework on the marriage and save your marriage save your relationship and give you a happy life but you have to accept what ketu is trying to give you if it is your career ketu can make you plant a seed in your thought and give you this hope to go into a new dimension for some it will be great for some they will just quit their job and that will come as an act of foolishness for some it will be a great investment for some they will invest and lose their money how are you using the energy rahu will be kam Ra rahu will be rahu ketu will be ketu ketu's devotional aspect and rahu's metaphysical and technological aspect should be drawn not rahu's deceptive techniques and ketu's violent techniques because deception and violence when clubbed together will activate the wrath of saturn which is completely going to annihilate any creation which is going to create further destruction rather saturn's third aspect on jupiter will cause destruction in your life to pave the way for creation for example you are working for 12 years in a job saturn will kill your motivation for that job so that you go into a new dimension new project and restart your life do something different for a student maybe that student wanted to take science but suddenly realizes that he can do great in sports 10 years later this thought that come today makes him a great sportsman he makes the nation proud and there will be people who have negative horoscopes so there are certain permutation that you will have to see 
that may take wrong decision that is why to each one of us there is a duty to help each other to be with each other we are all on the same boat to understand each other's uh, you know dynamic energy shifts and whatever we can do to help or understand people around us we should do we should give a listening ear to everybody and let this energy transform them and some people will face this such an enormous spiritual shift that your mind will simply open up and sahasrar will open up and you will absorb all the possibilities of the spiritual existence and you will feel that you exist in multiple dimensions and multiple planes if you want to leave something if you want to quit something if you want to sell something off if you want to minimize your you know material things and if you want to go into a that declutter mode best way to do this best thing to do this and lastly i will just add one point that no matter how many times i say be spiritual be spiritual be spiritual some people will understand some won't some will just listen and go some will watch this video for entertainment purpose but try to understand i am only a medium and this video is just a medium maybe this is also happening because of the wish of rahu ketu and the divine i am no i have don't have i don't have zero control on on any of the world events or gods or powers i'm just a participant on what god wants to convey so if you're hearing this it means that your spiritual chakras wants you to focus on spirituality and spirituality means following the right path following the humanitarian path understanding that you me and everybody have to ultimately answer the divine so we should focus on ourselves that are we being good today doesn't matter whether it's a competition of career or it's a marital issue because problems might increase so that your attention is being taken or drawn to somewhere else more will be explained on the ascendant wise video thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video till then namaste